Hello and welcome back to the Hard West. Today we're going to uh, accompany Vasquez and his men into the Old Four. And let's see how difficult this is really going to be. Let's remind ourselves Alvaro Va Vasquez and Senor Sarrarias, um, his former mentor. Uh, essential characters, they are not allowed to die. Uh, but we decided to play them with six uh, massive wounds, which reduces the hit points to one, respectively, for Alvaro. Oh, he's also at one, really? Wait a second. So, despite the fact that I gave you a card with plus one hit points, you end up with one. Oh, as well as you at zero. Wait a second. Something's awkward here. Okay, so the character is at one hit point. Um, with a card, he's at two. Uh, here's uh, once going back to the screen, he's at one hit point. And probably because the overall amount of hit points that he lost is so severe that he can't even be at uh, two hit points. So moving that card over to someone else will not reduce his hit points, will, uh, but will improve the hit points of someone else. So I guess we are simply going to accept that he has one hit point. There's really not that much we can do about it. I don't know. Let's still try it with the two hit points and see if we can pull it off. It always resets to one, apparently. But maybe, just maybe, we're lucky. Let's proceed to combat. Okay. The men snuck towards the fore and prepared their strike. As expected, the fore was currently only lightly guarded. They needed to plan their strike carefully. Reinforcements would be on the way as soon as Vasquez's men fired their first shot. Okay, so... Let me state the obvious here, shall I? That four is huge. And we can already see four, five, six enemies. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, let's take a look. So we do have two flanks, one over here, one over here. Apparently we can search the four for weapons, which we don't necessarily need, but still, maybe it'll give us something. Um, the low hit point characters have also low aim, so maybe we can position them somewhere in this house, preferably on the first floor. Oh my god, our sniper is so slow, definitely to make him sta uh, stationary, uh, stationary. The other two should swarm out and start finding the weapons. Slowly but surely we're moving in. I wonder what the weapons will, uh, what kind of bonuses the weapons will provide. Look at the amount of um, movement that we have left. Vasquez this happily collected the natives' goods and equipment. The sniper quite clearly has an issue just running. If we would take him onto a normal mission. With, it, with the amount of uh, movement that he has left, that wouldn't do us any good. Okay, moving in. We're still following the weapons.
Yeah, the setup can be boring from time to time, but I feel it's a necessary uh, it's a necessary mechanic to allow you uh, to uh, to find kind of a setup that works for you. I personally like um, setups where we are in full cover, and what I'm also looking for is that we potentially will get a flanking shot of some sort in. So we've got weapon container number one. Gosh, this sniper is slow. This here is weapon container number three. Now let me think about that. Judging from this position here, we had two enemies here, one here. And this here is pretty decent cover. Also, this here is good cover. So, if we're fighting with our main force from this side, might be not a bad idea to get one person over here. Alright, but we need definitely someone at the main entrance with more than one hit point because if we're just standing with two one hit point characters at some stage their luck will run out and that's not going going to end well for us so running back Okay. So maybe we can start from here by thinking about it because that gives us another angle that they don't know about. That's not a bad idea. Okay, so everyone posi is in position. He could open this, uh, these two guys, and these plus this gentleman here will be our main targets. He's in half cover though, so might want to consider shooting him first. He has five hit points, which is unfortunate. Oh, well, no, it's not. Good. Let's start with uh, actually shooting this guy. Because he's in half cover. The first shot was fired. The, the deadly Daringer doesn't end our turn, which is super helpful. The West would arrive first. More would follow. Similarly, we do have other weapons. which do not end the turn. So that's two down. Almost. Let's open the door. Moving into a nice little full cover position over here. Oh, and we're looking at a chance of being flanked. That's not good. 
I somewhat wasn't calculating to be flanked. So, let's instead take the high ground. One further guy down. And let's kill the last gentleman there. That's 41. That's not good. 41 means we're down to 100 luck on our sniper. Need to be very careful and watch uh, the luck extremely carefully. That's one down. <clears throat> and this here is mainly to deplete his luck. Well, never mind. Almost killed him. So the guy on the rooftop was the one that took the shot. We will need to use our shotgun because the other weapon will not kill him with one hit. Luckily for us, that one directly killed him with one hit. We've seen two further gentlemen over there. And one person's kind of standing here in the entrance. All right, we're not going to use any further uh, luck on him. 99. Is already enough uh, uh, luck that we've lost. Okay, so need to dispose all of the guards before the reinforcements arrive. That's just one turn, uh, five turns from now. Alright, moving over here. Gosh, I should have killed this guy. Well, we'll take two shots. He only has one hit point left. Which means he eventually will die. There we go. That's one less guard to worry about. Still have the gentleman up here, then one guy here, and one guy down here. So it's at least three of them left over. We're moving into full cover. Okay, so this guy here has a very well defended position. I think we can't hit him from here. No, we can't. Gosh, the guy on top has so much cover that with our absolutely atrocious aim, we're not even able to hit him. Time to reload because I'm hoping that they will leave their cover 
otherwise we really have an issue. That's such a bullshit, by the way. There's only one way up. Well, I was wrong. There are two ways up. So moving through this house here effectively is the second way. Problem is, moving next to this house means we can be flanked from here and we know that there's one guy over there. So let's move down. We're using the time for full reload. Yeah, I told you. You gotta watch the flanks. That's the name of the game. Moving over here, seeing this guy who, by the way, was not watching his flank, and this guy here who was fl watching his flank either. Well, we moved into cover. I think that's the best we could do. Three turns and three guys remaining. We're keeping our luck. I don't want to, to lose it. We know that there's one over here, one up here and one up here. So that's the last three, I think. Well, that's most likely not going to hit. We could move all the way down here, but that's <clears throat> a very long distance. Gosh. Yeah, I don't want to use Golden Bullet. It's going to cost too much luck. could position ourselves up here or even up here yeah that would put pressure on them there we go excellent I guess we'll need to do it the hard way and fanfire him. We have absolutely no targets uh, with these guys. So we're effectively playing two versus three. He makes a crucial mistake and stands in the open, which we could punish now. So if we were to use Cone Shot, that wouldn't hit either. So let's see if we can kill a guy without cover. We can. Good job. Reloading. And let's deplete some of his luck. We can kill him next turn. These two guys unfortunately can't do anything.
And I feel we're soon going to be overrun by the reinforcements. The western gate sprung wide, revealing several armed men. Oh shit. Vasquez was amazed by the organization of these jungle-raised natives. The peons wounded several enemies, but ultimately perished. Well, that's one down. Gosh. Okay, we need to think about a strategy. This guy here is uh, currently is not a threat. Moving over here, however, I can see a lot of threats. Oh my god. 70 misses, really? Moving to here would be pretty problematic because he could shoot us in the, in the, in the back. So what we could do is we could move downstairs or we continue the firefight on four. Oh, wait a second. Oh, we do have open shots on all of them, which means all of them also have open shots on our uh, gunmen. Okay, time to retreat. Thank you for the shootout. See you later, buddy. But I need to t uh, find some cover. That's actually going to be an issue now. Okay. Okay. Well, that is an issue. Let's take a look. We only have 33 and 70. Okay, well, I mean, we need to kill them and we need to kill them fast. It's one down. 33 means he could probably take another shot before dying. Two down. Um, I would say we're taking the guy with almost no health left. Because the one in cover is already focusing on us. That's okay. So he's standing up here. The only, uh, he wouldn't have any angle on us if we move in here. Going to use that to our advantage, of course. Okay, we have 31 luck left over, which means we're eating the Mandrake root now, getting back to 130. Gosh, difficult position.
we don't have enough movement speed. Oh no! Wait a second. We could reposition. And reposition. There we go. That's the hit we were looking for. Come on, buddy. Alright, let's get up. At some point we need to start depleting his luck, but not with 0% shots. That's an issue. We know that the next reinforcements come from the east, so I assume they are over here. Which means I might want to start moving down. I mean, 0% hit chance, that's really bad. It's continuing to stay in full cover. Moving our back line to a better position. We can't move in because uh, he would take shots. So the only option that we really have is to continue moving around and flank him from the other side. Hmm. Let me think about that. So the problem here is this guy basically covers the only way from here to there. Taking a shot would be Pretty devastating, but maybe also not the end of the world. We have enough hit points. Not sure what I should think about it. We could deal damage, but we're just not hitting this guy. Moving up, maybe we can see if we can flank them from here. The other alternative is a really nice ricochet shot, but I think there are no options to ricochet the bullet now. Fortunately not. Yeah, we'll we'll just keep him here for now.
moving a bit closer, but that shouldn't, no, it's not changing anything. That might have been a mistake. Well, he knew he was flanked, so he took another position. At the end of the day, it didn't really matter. Two more turns. Let's set up an appropriate, an appropriate welcome uh, committee. So from up here, we might even be able to shotgun multiple. Reload. A second batch of reinforcements had arrived at the eastern gate. Fighting the peons had tired them, but their injuries were only slight. Why isn't it possible to shotgun down there and hit multiples? That's stupid. So one more uh, down. Let's try to hit the guy with the six hit points. There we go. Still not capable of ricocheting. Yeah, we're missing the extra damage. So it's two versus five. Next one down, perfect. And the next one. Uh, still nothing to ricochet, why am I even trying? Vitality Elixir. Good. So these two should die right now. a position where I can actually see this guy. Yeah, there you go. The last of the natives died, coughing up blood. 
The fort was secured. The expedition could safely head north. Nice one. So, that also means our weak characters should now get all of the benefits of having six negative um, wounds throughout the entirety of this um, scenario. Good. So here, Senor Zacharia is no longer suffers from Isidra Isidra. We will see a couple of uh, these of these messages now. Um, interestingly enough, it hasn't removed all of the wounds. Maybe the game only allows you to uh, to convert so many wounds at once. That would suck because we have had so many wounds at the same time. I was expecting that we recover all of them. Game is currently low. Okay, here we go. So four of the wounds have been converted into into advantages. Saharias is, with the exception of the gushing wound and the cracked skull, he's pretty much fine for now. His mentor has converted everything. One, two, three, four, five. All right. He has 80 aim, 10 hit points. That's not bad at all. And in terms of cards, Somehow the game uh, still seems to be processing the wounds. It, it's lagging quite a bit. Can't even change characters. Ah, okay, here we go. So we got ourselves a Joker. That's good. I like it. Could go for the four of a kind. Um, bonus, which is plus 15 aim. That actually would be awesome. Yeah, let's do that. Plus 15 aim isn't bad for a sniper. And we can use uh, this here. He almost has a straight. Yeah, just missing a jack. By thinking about it. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay. So we could give him the straight bonus if we so desire. Yeah, which means one hit point per turn. That's a better bonus. Okay, so both of the characters are equipped, very well outfitted. Gosh, it's really slowing down. I don't know what's happening. I think I'll stop the recording here just to figure out uh, what's going on and we are going to see each other in the next series to finish up the whole scenario and make sure that we could actually finish the mission. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, leave a comment and a thumbs up. Thank you.